11 Symptoms Before a Heart Attack In this video, you will learn to recognize the early signs and symptoms of a heart attack. Heart attack is the leading cause of death in the United States and worldwide, and we know that cardiovascular diseases kill about 1 million Americans per year, according to the American Society of Cardiology. And the sooner you think of a heart attack, the faster you get to the hospital, the better the treatment, and the lesser the consequences for your heart, and the higher your chance of surviving it. So, pay attention. Besides the initial symptoms of a heart attack, I will talk about the types of heart attacks, about the causes of a heart attack, and why there has been a concerning increase in the number of heart attack cases in young people under 40 years old recently. So, stay tuned. What is a heart attack or an acute myocardial infarction? A heart attack is a frightening experience. If you've had a heart attack, or have been close to someone who has, you should know this well. The heart is a muscle that pumps oxygen-rich and nutrient-rich blood to the rest of the body through the aorta. Above the heart, there are several small arteries known as coronary arteries, and they supply the heart muscle with oxygen and nutrients. In a heart attack, or acute coronary syndrome, there's a blockage in the blood flow in one of the coronary arteries. Atherosclerosis is the main cause of heart attack, and results in the continuous deposition of cholesterol in these vessels over the years. Because of stress, a fright, vigorous exercise, or lack of sleep, in the United States, where it's well documented, that in the daylight saving time change, where one hour of sleep is lost, there's a 24% spike in heart attack cases year after year. And when it reverts to standard time, there's a 21% drop in heart attacks. When the fat plaque ruptures, the platelets will notice and will try to stop it, resulting in the formation of a blood clot, causing a partial or total blockage of the involved coronary artery. Other, less common causes are vasospasm, which is triggered by drugs like cocaine, smoking, stress, or cold, and result in a sudden spasm of the coronary artery. And the other cause is coronary artery dissection, where the inner wall of the coronary artery breaks, resulting in a blockage of blood flow. The obstruction of any of the coronary arteries causes ischemia of the muscle. Lack of oxygen and nutrients in the part of the heart muscle irrigated by that artery, which will cause the death of the heart muscle, the acute myocardial infarction. So, during a heart attack, the heart muscle tissue is dying due to the lack of blood flow to that heart artery. That's why we say time is muscle. The faster you get to the emergency room and are treated, the smaller the injury to your heart. And the opposite is also true. The longer you wait to seek help, hoping the symptoms will pass, the greater the damage to your heart muscle. What are the symptoms of a heart attack or acute myocardial infarction? And what are the symptoms of a heart attack? Often people do not realize they are having a heart attack, either because they do not recognize the early signs or because they do not consider them serious enough to call. Therefore, it is important for you to pay attention to your body. Some heart attacks are sudden and intense, but most start slowly with mild pain or discomfort. So, let's go to the symptoms. First symptom, indigestion. Indigestion during a heart attack can be confused with heartburn or common stomach discomfort. This symptom, often described as a burning sensation or pressure in the stomach, can be mistakenly attributed to digestive problems. However, when it occurs together with other signs of heart attack, like chest pain or shortness of breath, it's crucial to seek medical evaluation immediately. Second symptom, chest discomfort. Most heart attacks involve a pain or discomfort in the center of the chest that lasts more than a few minutes usually five or more minutes. They are not stings or needles that last a few seconds. It is a longer pain, which can go away and then come back. It may feel like uncomfortable pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain in the chest. Third symptom, cold sweat and palines. It's a sweat different from when you are exercising. It's cold, clammy, and usually the person is pale. So you start sweating suddenly and the skin cold and damp. Fourth symptom, tachycardia. Tachycardia, characterized by rapid or irregular heartbeats, is an alarming symptom that can arise during a heart attack. This sudden increase in heart rate can be felt as palpitations or a sensation of strong and fast heartbeat in the chest, throat, or neck. At rest, a healthy heart usually beats between 60 to 100 times per minute. During a heart attack, the heart's demand for oxygen is not met, leading to a compensatory response from the body accelerating heartbeats in an attempt to provide more oxygen to the heart and the rest of the body. This symptom should not be ignored, 
as it indicates possible significant stress on the heart. Fifth symptom, discomfort in other upper body areas, pain or discomfort in one or both arms, numbness in the hands, pain in the back, neck, jaw, or stomach. Sixth symptom, nausea and vomiting. You might feel nauseated or have a stomach upset due to the reaction of the vagus nerve. Seventh symptom, shortness of breath. And this shortness of breath can occur with or without chest discomfort. Because if your heart cannot pump blood well, as is the case with a heart attack, you might feel short of breath or have difficulty breathing. Eighth symptom, dizziness. Dizziness can occur with a heart attack and is often a symptom described by women. Some women report feeling like they might faint if they try to stand up or exert themselves a bit more. Ninth symptom, swelling. Swelling, or edema, can be an early sign of heart failure, resulting from the heart's inability to pump blood efficiently. This leads to fluid accumulation in tissues, especially in legs, ankles, feet, and occasionally in the abdomen, causing discomfort and increased volume. Tenth symptom, anxiety. You might feel a sense of doom, or feel as if you are having a panic attack for no apparent reason. If you have some of these symptoms, do not wait for them to pass. Call emergency, call a family member or friend, call a taxi, order an Uber, and go to an emergency room. Eleventh, symptom, jaw pain. Jaw pain can be a symptom of a heart attack. Although not as commonly recognized as chest pain, pain radiating to the jaw, especially if accompanied by other symptoms, can indicate a cardiac event. This type of pain can appear isolatedly or in conjunction with chest pain, shortness of breath, cold sweat, nausea, or pain in the left arm. The golden hour. In cardiology, there's the concept of the golden hour, where a person's survival will depend on the action they and the doctor take during the first hour of the event, because most deaths from cardiac arrests occur during this period. Is there a difference in heart attack symptoms between men and women? Yes, there are some small differences. Chest pain, angina, is the main symptom of heart attack for both women and men. But women describe the pain more as tightness or compression in the chest, while men tend to describe it as a weight. Moreover, women are slightly more likely than men to experience shortness of breath, nausea and vomiting, and pain in the back or jaw. And one of the common symptoms in women is fatigue. So much so that some women might even think their heart attack symptoms are symptoms of flu or COVID. And importantly, not everyone who has heart attacks has the same symptoms. Some people have mild pain, others more intense pain, and in other cases, such as diabetics, may not have chest pain. There are also cases where the first sign of a heart attack may be cardiac arrest. But the more signs and symptoms you have, the higher the chance of having a heart attack. Some heart attacks occur suddenly, but many people show warning signs and symptoms hours, days, or weeks before the event. The first warning might be recurrent chest pain or pressure, angina, triggered by exertion and relieved when the person rests. If you can notice these symptoms and value them before having a heart attack, even better. What are the types of heart attack? There are two types of heart attack. A heart attack with ST elevation, where the clot completely blocks the blood flow to that artery, so the doctor can see through the ECG that you are having a heart attack. And being a more serious heart attack, he will have to act quickly. Or in the second case, a heart attack without ST elevation, where there is a partial blockage of the artery, and unfortunately for the doctor, it shows on the electrocardiogram, but the muscle is suffering. And cardiac enzymes such as troponin will rise in the blood test. What are the risk factors for a heart attack? As I mentioned, the main cause of a heart attack is atherosclerosis. So, what causes atherosclerosis increases your risk of a heart attack? The risk factors for heart attack include age. Men over 45 and women over 55 are more likely to have a heart attack. Smoking, this includes both active smoking and passive smoke. High blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, elevated triglycerides, high lipoprotein A, obesity, diabetes, family history, sedentary lifestyle, stress and drugs like cocaine or even amphetamines. 
Why have heart attacks increased in young people? Between 2010 and 2019, before COVID, there was a 59% increase in hospital admissions for heart attacks in people up to 39 years old, and almost a 10% increase in deaths. This is because risk factors, hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, stress, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle are increasingly common in young people, so it's the fault of the dangerous lifestyle they adopt. And there's a problem, also, because in this population, the symptoms of angina, that chest pain when walking, may not precede the heart attack. What are the treatments for a heart attack? The treatment for a myocardial infarction generally involves oxygen therapy. To increase the amount of oxygen reaching the heart muscle, aspirin or other antiplatelet therapy, nitroglycerin and morphine, to relax the coronary arteries and relieve pain, beta blockers to reduce heart rate and reduce oxygen consumption in the heart. And the doctor may opt for thrombolytic therapy, which serves to dissolve existing blood clots. Or even better, if he is in a prepared hospital, coronary angioplasty. How to prevent an acute myocardial infarction. You should reduce risk factors. Half of heart attacks can be prevented just by changing some habits. 1. Stop smoking. Quitting smoking reduces the risk of a heart attack by 30%. 2. Control your pressure. Keep your pressure under control. 120x80. 3. Control sugar. If you have diabetes, it's important that your blood sugar is well controlled to avoid all the harmful consequences of diabetes. 4. Eat right. A healthy diet, low in sugar, soft drinks and salt, lots of fruits and vegetables, little red meat and fried foods, reduces your cardiovascular risk. Reducing cholesterol and triglycerides. 5. Exercise. Get up and move. Try to lose weight if you are overweight or obese. 6. Sleep well. Sleep 7 to 9 hours per night. 7. Make friends. We know that loneliness and social isolation increase your risk of a heart attack by almost 30%. 8. Get a cardiological checkup. Those whose parents manifested early cardiac disease should start earlier than others, around 20 years old. And cardiological examinations are becoming more reliable. Emergency plan. Have an emergency action plan in case you or someone in your family is at high risk of having a heart attack. Write down the list of medications you are taking and which medication you are allergic to. Who is your doctor? What does your baseline electrocardiogram look like? Take a picture and keep it on your phone. Which hospital is closest to your home? Does it have a cardiologist? Does it have emergency hemodynamics? All this can help you so that the medical treatment is the best and fastest possible. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.